the icbi the nippon foundation mathematics package for uh, teachers title of the video types of sets in this demonstration uh, we will uh, uh, define well defined sets uh, not well defined sets uh, finite set uh, infinite set uh, cardinal number of a set uh, null or empty set uh, singleton set uh, etc now let us start with the well defined uh, set elements that can be listed out you know for example you take a, a cup you take a, a watch and uh, let us take a, a keychain these elements can be listed out at some times we use the expression like uh, intelligent students soft students these are some of the things which cannot be quantified these are adjective you know suppose we say the class of intelligent students the soft spoken students uh, beautiful children these cannot be quantified unless we have a specific measure still we consider that as a set so this type of set is what you call not well defined set finite set is a set with countable elements for example when i say cup watch uh, keychain uh, pen and uh, a tea bag right when i say cup pen keychain watch and tea bag that means i can count whenever you consider a set uh, which has countable elements uh, we call that as the finite set now let us go for infinite set what is infinite set set with the uncountable number of elements set with uncountable number of elements how do you define uncountable number of elements let us uh, take the example of tea bag tea bag is a finite set because you are not looking at the tea inside you are talking about the tea bag so that becomes a unit suppose i take the tea right from the tea bag and then make a set uh, so this is something which cannot be counted that means the elements are uncountable so that means we call this as infinite set now similarly suppose we say the numbers we write uh, numbers when you start with uh, 1 2 3 4 if you stop with that number if you stop with 4 then it is countable suppose you say 1 2 3 4 5 etc etc going up to infinity that means we cannot count so in that case we call this as a infinite set we have to define some more terminology before we get into the higher level of set theory there is one set which is called as null set null set uh, it is also called as empty set or void set what do we mean by this well we consider that as a set that doesn't mean that there may be elements in that well sometimes you no know, we come up with unrealistic uh, elements for example when you say uh, horses with the six legs horses have only four legs now suppose you come up with a category horses with the six legs so that means it is a null set it is an empty set another example is you take a box without any object uh, ask the child to explore it is empty so it is an empty set if you consider an empty box as a set then the elements are not there so it can be called as an empty set now 
the cardinal number of a set so let us again take these objects cup watch pen keychain and a cello tape now how many objects are here one two three four five the number of objects in the set is what you call a cardinal number suppose we take a set with four objects that is one two three four now the number of objects in the set is called as the cardinal number so here the cardinal number of the set having four elements one two three four is four if we call this set as a then the cardinal number is indicated by n and parenthesis a so n open parenthesis you put a and then close parenthesis well this can be indicated in the braille form too in the book uh, but it is uh, necessary to teach this notation to the child now one more type of set uh, should also be defined uh, this set uh, has uh, four elements you know they are one two three four assume that this set has only one element we call this set as single ton set single ton set so that means a set with a single element is called single ton set